Zulzul, Zimmy Do, Zombler Kevin. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm just so fluent in Simlish. Sometimes I, I speak in it by accident. I think in Simlish as well, you know. I was always useless at languages in school. I studied Irish for nine years and I, I can barely speak a word of it. But Simlish just comes to me naturally. Cover hop, not cold. But today, we're going to be playing The Sims 2 on the PSP, which is a game I played many, many years ago. But it's very different to normal Sims. So we're going to jump in and take a look at it. This is going to be pretty nostalgic to me. I imagine. Wait, so I can edit all my neighbors? This is kind of cool. Have you heard of the High Elves? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna make this into oblivion. Have you heard of the High Elves, milady? <laughs> Tips the fedora. Oh, there he goes. He looks like he's about to uh, drop the newest remix of Little Nas Old Town Road. <laughs> I'm just making everybody cowboys. <laughs> Probably an absolute waste of my time, but everyone is now cowboys in the village. <laughs> my guy looks really cool already. He even did a twirl for us. I didn't even ask him to, he just did it. Why is this a default face? This in no way resembles like an actual human being. All right, what will his name be? I think his name will be Milady. <laughs> there we go. Yes, yeah, save Milady. Somebody please save him. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Look at him. He is our protagonist. He's not even looking where he's going. He's spaced. Looking off into the sky he drives. He's currently five dead and three in critical condition. We can only hope he's one of the dead ones. What can I do that's inappropriate? Can I rob this dude? Mm. Wait, is he licking that? I don't know. <laughs> he just kind of went really close to it and then went, mm. let's try and interact with another human being. Me, Corley. He go oh my god, he's freaking out. I'm not just any mechanic. I'm the best mechanic. I'm an artist. Okay, <laughs> like I'll, I'll pay you to fix my car. I learned a secret. What did I learn? That this guy's feckin' psychopath? Just talk to me. Don't come in here with your I'm trying to talk to you, but you're freaking out. Talk to me like a human being while he's freaking out and screaming in my face. You don't get out much, do you? My guys want to talk. <laughs> Look at them. What could they possibly talk about? What could they possibly have in common? <laughs> this is a weird way of socializing, by the way. He brings up a topic and then I have to match it and then they like that. <laughs> it's weird. Push, push. Oh, now he loves me now that I talked about skiing <laughs> and he's gonna give me a discount. All right, go outside. Something like I never thought he'd do. Oh, I found some trash. Great. <laughs> he just stuffed it in his pocket. Just gonna use your toilet with the door open if you don't mind. <laughs> it's very awkward for everyone in the shop. <laughs> oh my god, she's like doing a palm reading, except, you know, putting her palm in my mouth. <laughs> I think I'm reading her palm with my tongue. At least it's not the other way around because I, I didn't wash my hands when I came out of the bathroom. Your aspiration is social. You want to be popular. You want everyone to love you. Two of my answers were threatening people with violence if they don't do what I say. She's getting pissed because I don't agree that she just defined my whole personality after sticking her hand in my mouth. Well, I guess she does have a point. She stuck her whole fist in my mouth. So if I let her do that just so she'll like me, I guess that's where she's coming from. Yeah, I kind of see it now. I want to be rich, tell her. <laughs> you are a fiery individual who always has to have their way. Hey, that's right. <laughs> Milady knows what Milady wants. <laughs> All right, what are his wants? Change appearance. Well, that's not going to happen. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> he looks right into the camera, almost begging me. Milady. Bella's running away because she was abducted by aliens. Okay, <laughs> I just wanted small talk. I wanted to talk about the weather and stuff, but whatever. Wait, what is he doing? <laughs> Why is he so- What are you doing, dude? I already know how to flirt. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> clearly he does. Call a sim. Do I have any friends? Oh, I do. I'll call uh, her even though she's two feet away. Oh, no answer. God damn it. I heard that ring and you just not answering it when you saw it was me. Wake up. I want to talk to you. What's that? Is this flirting? <laughs> Wait, is he asking? Yeah, he's asking for her number now. So who was he calling on the phone a second ago? <laughs> Acquire a home is one of my goals. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Oh, a phone. Okay. I feel like I shouldn't answer this. Have you lost something? No, but I found this ground phone. Wait, actually, yes. I seem to have misplaced my car and my mechanic and his shop. What? You should come work for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, the whole garage is gone. I don't understand. It has just disappeared. Oh, for feck's sake, to get a ride into town, I, I need to get him donuts. God, this trip is going really badly. I never should have left my mom's basement. All right, hand over your donuts. Intimidate. After you just helped me learn everything about this town, I'm not going to start intimidating you for donuts. Java. There you go, pusher, yeah. <laughs> Big man. Oh, he's pulled it off. She's crying. Fantastic. She hides her donuts in the trash can in the restroom. Okay, great. Should I tell the cop that they're bathroom bin donuts or no? Yeah, I'm not gonna tell him this. I just want my ride into town. Wait, what? Oh, for feck's sake, he's not taking me there until I find a place to crash. <sighs> 
All right, who can get me a house? I only know three other people and one has disappeared <laughs> along with his garage and my car and the other I just assaulted. That leaves one more. Bella, hello. I'm sorry, this is urgent. I had to walk in on you. I've been looking for someone to sell my house to. I can't think of any place better to buy a house than a gas station restroom. 900,000 simoleons. I think I have about 10. <laughs> Will that do? Wait, sold. What? I just need to give her all my money. Okay. Is think about it an answer? Sure, for indecisive pansies. <laughs> my guy's like, that's me. <laughs> well, if you're just asking for all the money in my pocket, I'm gonna spend all of my money. <laughs> All right, now I have 10 bucks left. All right, about that house you mentioned. Yeah, you give all the money. <laughs> I got it for 10 bucks. Hey, stop screaming at me. It was your deal. Just because I found a loophole. You can't get mad. All right, get in the car. I think I'm being kidnapped. No, who am I kidding? No one would want to kidnap me. I noticed she took all of your money too. Here, have some of mine. He gave me $800 when I bought the place for 10. Is this my house? Oh my God, it's huge. This was the best 10 bucks I've ever spent. Wait, I have a maid? Oh God, she doesn't like me. I don't blame her. This is nice. Oh, well, that's a problem right there. <laughs> Uh, some ghost in his underwear is haunting the place. Oh, here he is again. Okay. Are you just gonna keep doing this? Because it's dropping my sanity meter something fierce. What does she even clean? There is no furniture in here. What do I pay you for? Do I pay you? I don't know. He was swimming. He turned around and then all of a sudden the ladder disappeared. So I need to find his remains and bury them. God, this game is weird. My guy's sanity is almost nothing left. <laughs> And there he goes. Okay. He has lost all of his sanity. <laughs> he has gone nuts. What? Okay. I, I guess I died and went to heaven, but God said you're not ready to die yet and sent me back. $500? What? No, I refuse. I am loading that. All right. Get out of this feckin' house before I lose money. Talk to blah, blah, blah. Okay. I gotta talk to a lot of people. There's a lot of talking in this game. And my guy does not like socializing. He's an introvert. Look at all these cowboys. <laughs> God, it's kind of weird that there's a graveyard in the middle of this cult the sack, <laughs> but I kind of like it. I'm looking for the garbage man and they're saying garbage truck parked outside, creepy mad scientist decor. I'm betting that these people kidnapped the, the garbage man, but like kind of jumping to the conclusions there, buddy. Ah, this bed is just right. <laughs> I don't even know these people. I never introduced myself. I just walked into their house and hopped in their bed. Oh, she's showering. Hello. I'd like to introduce myself, please. <laughs> this is so creepy. Hello. <laughs> All right. I'd like to start flirting now. <laughs> Wait, why didn't it work? Come on, what more does the guy gotta do? Walks into your house unannounced, goes to sleep in your bed, and then walks in on you showering? Hello, I've already met your wife. <laughs> How are you doing? What the hell? Don't touch that. What? I was just trying to access your hidden vault. Touch it again, I'll be within my rights to set you on fire. Is this flirting again? I'm gonna touch the keypad again. <laughs> they do not like me. You need a logic skill of two. I have zero logic, I'm afraid. I wanna get in there now. I wanna see what's behind there. God, this Sims game is weird. I'm using their phone. I have done like everything inappropriate that I possibly can. At least they're okay with me using all their furniture and shower and everything because I have no furniture at home and there's a lot of ghosts there. It's actually the house where the devil appeared and played cards. And I need something for logic. What well, can put up logic skill? This bookcase. Great. Yeah, there's fine. I'm no interior designer, but I know what I like and I like the bookcase here. Okay, I have two things on my list now. One is to get into that hidden room and the other is to find the remains of my ghost roommate. All right, let's try Try intimidating first immediately as soon as I got into her house. Uh, yeah, that'll intimidate her. <laughs> she took a step back anyway. That's a start. Uh, there we go. I'll keep burping in her face until you tell me what it is. Why is she not threatened by me? I don't understand what's not intimidating about that. There you go. Physical violence will solve this issue. <laughs> all right, she's not intimidated at all. So I think I'm just going to have to try and get my body skill up a little bit and then just really take the battle to her. <laughs> or maybe a nice kick to the throat. <laughs> the zombies only come out later at night. What kind of neighborhood am I living in? I'm spending all my money on this to get hench. The maid's probably like, uh, you still have enough money to pay me, right? Nope. <laughs> no, I don't. I like how after a workout, instead of a shower, he just washes his hands. All right, now that I'm feckin' hench, I'm gonna beat up my neighbor's wife. I can't wait. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe I can wait. It's time to do the zombie mini game, whatever that is. Uh. What the hell is this? This seems a bit disrespectful. <laughs> Okay, I lost sanity because I, I didn't really do a good job, but that doesn't matter. I earned $16 
And now I'm getting put into the insane asylum for it. <laughs> I mean, I did just have to beat up the dead with a shovel. I can't really blame him this time. <laughs> the important thing is, I don't have enough money to pay for it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm in debt and I'm gonna lose sanity and get stress headaches until I pay it off. <laughs> for feck's sake. Alright, I'm gonna beat up that woman. <laughs> That'll make me feel better. Hey, I've been working out and I'm here to beat you up again. There we go. Now I'm big and strong. I'm bullying you. <laughs> she just admitted she's having an affair. You cannot tell Loki. Here, I will never forgive you. I'm gonna go tell your husband about this. <laughs> Neat pump. Go get her. Yeah, there we go. And now can I? And now can I hack this? Surely they'll be distracted with their marriage falling apart. Great, I'm getting in there. This is boring. This is just an office. Oh wait, hold on. I found the garbage worker. God, I kind of like these neighbors now. <laughs> Reward. Is that what this is about? Well, here. Thank you. I, I'm in serious debt. Seriously, stop getting angry at me. Honestly, I wouldn't mind being their prisoner for a while. The outside world is hard. There's zombies outside the house. It's just here in my tidy. Whiteys. You have a computer in here? Why didn't you just feckin' email me? <laughs> I'm just in there playing Fortnite in their secret room. I should leave before I get locked in here. My guy wants to dance. <laughs> he also wants to use the toilet. <laughs> Can I dance on the toilet? I want to multitask. <laughs> oh, stop freaking out, dude. Stop it. <laughs> oh my god, he's having a breakdown. I think I just died. <laughs> I am dead. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the afterlife. I'll be your Grim Reaper. We have some resurrection packages available. Uh, tell me about the gold package. 2,500 sanity points? I don't think I have any. What about the bargain package? You come back with an empty stomach, a full bladder, and a host of other problems. I mean, I'm pretty sure I died with those problems too. I'll just be a ghost for a while if that's okay. <laughs> All his wants are just scare someone now. This is kind of weird. There's no music or anything going on. It's just me floating around silently. Wait, where's the lady? Oh, she's there. That's why he's just idling there. He's waiting for her to come over, but she's stuck. Okay, <laughs> well, I best be leaving. <laughs> I think I took their sanity along with mine. Hello everyone, I'm the new neighbor. <laughs> I'm dead by the way. Okay, I kept scaring all the villagers and now I can come back. <laughs> I just respawned right in front of him. Hey buddy, sorry about, you know, the introduction of me being a ghost and just screaming at you. Where did the garbage truck go? Oh yeah, I rescued him. I forgot immediately. The whole, you know, dying and coming back to life makes you kind of forget other things. Alright, the last thing I need is the remains from my roommate. Okay, this is their pool I think, so it should be in here somewhere. He's kind of freaking out. I am flirting with his wife. Got one flirt and the meter went flying up. She loves what my lady has. An absolutely ripped bod from working out for one day. Why do I always come in and just stare at my neighbors while they're naked? I need to get mechanical skill, but I can't afford anything to get it up. There's a scratched up wedding ring lodged in Hazel's drain. Okay, well, they clearly murdered this dude. And again, I respect that. Why are you having a breakdown now? He's having constant breakdown. He's dead again. <laughs> oh my god. They're like, wait, what happened? I don't know, I was cleaning the bathroom and I just sort of died. I, I don't know why. Now I guess I'm haunting you. Sorry, this is kind of all I got going on for me. <laughs> <laughs> This poor woman. This is a great way of living, to be honest. By which I mean dying. <laughs> you just keep dying, keep scaring people, then come back with a gold package when you get enough points. There's a note in Hazel's fridge. Help, my wife is starving me to death. <laughs> okay, well that's a damning piece of evidence and I'm surprised you didn't remove it, to be honest. What, you just put the food around it? Oh my god, what's happening to you now? You're starving to death. Why is there always something wrong with you? Okay, I'm dead again. <laughs> yeah, just keep scaring, keep scaring. Alright, sorry about scaring you and all that, dude, but I'm I'm glad to be back. And <laughs> sane as ever. <laughs> Which is not very. You found a pacemaker buried in her garden. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I can really relate to all these neighbors, you know. Now, let's take a look in here, huh? There's a shredded swimsuit and Hazel's pool filter. <laughs> Alright, time to expose her. I found a pacemaker. Someone must have lost it. That's not very creative. I found a note in your fridge saying, Help, my wife is starving me to death. Signed, Gordon. <laughs> he complained about my cooking. This doesn't really add up, you know. <laughs> you don't intimidate me. I ain't telling you nothing. Oh, yeah? Take off your shirt, m'lady. <laughs> no, not you. I mean my guy. <laughs> Start intimidating. I can't see what I'm supposed to be clicking. It's underneath the door. I can't see. <laughs> oh, for feck's sake. There you go. Confess. You must confess. <laughs> I fell asleep one day, woke up a month later, and my husband Gordon had started. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. I believe you. I'm going to die old and alone. Yep, that's what you deserve. <laughs>
That's a, she likes that. That's kind of awkward. She's using the toilet in the background here. Thank you so much for saving my life. Yeah, whatever. Bye. Um, he's having a bit of a breakdown. He didn't take the news too well. Well, I guess the last thing to do is to bury his remains, which is just a swimsuit, unfortunately. Will I just bury it in, in her flower bed? It's buried. Great. I just buried them in her flower bed. He's gone. The music room is yours. Great. This was a mistake. <laughs> Look at him go. All right. I can't think of a better place to end this one. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed though. What a strange game. It is much weirder than I remember. I just remember that there was a bit of a story to it. Oh my god, he's freaking out. But I don't remember it being this weird. I hope you guys enjoyed though. If you want to see more, do let me know. I think I'd be up for playing more of this. It is a wild ride. <laughs> if you want to see more of me, I post every day and I also stream over on Twitch. The link to that is in the description. But uh, that's about it for now. So I hope you enjoyed. Appreciate watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.